The notes feature is a robust way to be able to add comments either at the cell, the row, the column, or even the report level. As an example, I will select a cell here, come up to the option on the home tab and select add note, and notice the rich text box that shows up with the ability to enter text plus have formatting options for bold, italicize, underline, strike through, font color, highlight color, or even add a hyperlink. Let's go ahead and add some sample notes into here. Plus add a link as well. Select this, and just like in any other Office product, you can select link and either type or paste a URL in here. Let's go ahead and select apply, select save, and now we will get an icon indicated here. Plus that link will now be navigatable when you click on it to be able to go to a particular web page. Plus the icons and design of these can be customized. So if you come up to the notes options and go to settings, there are various ways to change the indicator icon, its size, what position it will be located in, as well as any footnote lengths or columns in the footnotes as well, which if we open this up, as we can see, is an option to turn on here. So turning that on, we can get a footnote in the report that will list all of the corresponding notes that have been added. And if you select it, it goes to that note, highlights it, and then once again, lets you click that link if there is one. Now on top of the footnote, if we open this up again, there's also an option to show the notes column, which will give you an option at each single row in the matrix table to be able to add comments or notes here. Typing that information in will give you a simple text box to add that here with the ability to expand as necessary. Go ahead and click enter to commit. Now, in addition to the cell or row notes, if I was to select a particular column and then select add notes, we're given an entire rich text box environment to be able to edit it here and provide a lot more information, including the ability to add an unordered or ordered list. Let's go ahead and add some notes in here for another example. And select save here at the bottom. We can observe that has now been added to the footnotes. There's been an icon added to this column to indicate that is showing up here. And if we see the tabs here at the top, we have ones for header. If we wanted to make a comment at the report level, so not tied to any column, row, or cell, that can be added here. But also, if we come over to the all section, we can see three notes showing for the home appliances and lamps. If I click that, it will take me to that particular note related to that. Same thing, if I was to click this one, it will take me to that additional note there. Or if I select the plan one as well. So as I click into each of these, it will highlight the corresponding note related to it. And last but not least, we have an innovative feature. If I close this and come back to notes, take a look at the marker mode, which changes the icon to a marker. And for presentations or online calls, it gives you the ability to underline, circle, or highlight using a marker. 